the bus conductor who makes model trams is Victor Whitbread of Stevenage Huts. That's a fact that might stir your thoughts to ask the question, why? Why doesn't he build baby buses if model making is his spare time pleasure? The answer could lay in Vic's hut. At hut, he might be a tram conductor, frustrated by that absence from the modern scene. Anyway, it's certainly an absence that has made Vic's hut grow fonder, and round and round the garden runs his streetcar named Desire. If Vic, or if you, regret the passing into the past of trundling trams that rung their winding way on shining high street tracks, remember there's a whole new generation who've never seen a tram, who've never bumped and swayed and read that spitting is strictly prohibited. That's the generation Vic caters for, a young generation whose regret, if any, can only be prompted by such sentimental sights as the Tramway Museum at Critch in Derbyshire. Here, trams and tracks are saved from the melting pot and lovingly restored. The Tramway Museum Society was formed in 1955 with the aim of taking over several tram cars in the possession of enthusiasts up and down the country. Sited now in a quarry, its present aims include displaying a working tramway for the benefit of the nation. If you don't understand this show of patriotism, you certainly won't appreciate it why the society should be run on the lines of a registered charity. And hold very tight please, it is registered as a charity. Membership of the Tramway Museum Society entitles you to work like mad on a collection of trams which now exceed over 30 in number. And yet it's not like work for those fired with tram mania who want visitors to come and fall in love as they did before them. There is romance and there is sadness that East Street and St Mary's should be deprived of the iron giants that surged with power at the swing of a brass handle. Trams, their shape, their look of clumsy stupidity, their ornamental paintwork, isn't this their appeal? And will some far-off sentimental man look back on spurned spaceships with a sigh of delight? Built in 1874, this Sheffield horse tram reigns supreme as a museum piece. As a memory-jogging journey, it has its limitations, for few can remember a time when horsepower meant just that, Take a piece of the past from us and come inside. Trams have left our streets, shaft-flanked horses too.